watching here, Demon Seed on the YouTube network. Hey, want to let you know that we've got the end of the contest coming up here very shortly. We're going to be announcing the winner of that Q500 Typhoon 4K Plus Gunmetal Gray from AcesDeals.biz. We're going to be giving it away to the best of the best videos. We're going to announce it on August the 1st. All right, you guys. I want to go over some things about the Q500 radio controller with you. There's a lot of different things on here and some of them are a little bit difficult to understand. So I'm going to go through them real quick with you so you know what they are, okay? All right, when you first turn on your radio, here's one of the first questions I'm getting is on the main screen, there should be a camera and a video camera on the right hand side of the screen and one of them will be red, whichever one is active. If you don't have that active on your uh, radio controller, then click on flight settings, and then once you click on flight settings, bypass the warning, and then click on camera select. After you click on camera select, your, your uh, Typhoon may be set up in CGO3. You wanna set it to CGO3 Pro. Once you set it to Pro, then go back to your main screen and you'll get that camera and video option. Once you click on that, over on the left-hand side, you'll get several different options like for a sunny day or a cloudy day and you can change your camera settings on the left-hand side. To get rid of all that information, just click on your video on the main screen and all that information will go away. If you don't want any information on your screen, double tap on your screen and then all of the information goes away and you've got a full wide view of whatever you're filming on your camera. Double click again and you'll get all your tools back and all your, uh, your information, all your OSD information, on screen display information. Okay, now here's another thing that some guys find confusing. In the top right hand corner, there's a satellite and you may have nine or 10 or 11 satellites there. Those satellites that you're seeing there are the satellites that your radio is getting. They're the, Cause your radio also has GPS in it and that's for the watch me mode, the follow me mode, because the aircraft has to follow something. So the radio has GPS in it also, okay? In the, on the left hand toolbar, you'll see SAT or satellite. That's how many satellites the aircraft has. So you want that to be, you know, at least seven. I wouldn't take off without at least seven satellites. Mine right now is getting 15 because the Typhoon not only gets uh, the American satellites, but it also gets NOAS, which are the European satellites. So there's a crap load of satellites up there for the Typhoon to lock into and you know, just give it a couple of minutes and let it lock into as many satellites and then your Typhoon will have a better lock. In other words, when you take your hands off the controls, it'll sit there within an inch because it's got so many satellites telling it exactly where it's supposed to be. All right, on the right hand side, it says volts. The volts that you see there is the voltage for your battery on your aircraft, okay? and it has a little bar there, tells you whether it's full or half full or, or almost empty. Under that, it's ALT, that's your altitude. Under that, it says GSPD, that's your ground speed or how fast you're moving across the ground. And under that is DIS, which is distance. And uh, the distance is how far away from the home point you are. Uh, over on the left-hand side, we have the mode. <clears throat> the mode is It'll say ready, or if you switch into smart mode, it'll say smart, switch into angle mode, it'll say angle, switch into home mode, it'll say uh, home. Under that, it says GPS, and that'll say ready. When you have enough satellites, it'll turn green and say ready. Under that is satellites, how many satellites the aircraft has. And under that is POS or position, and that's your longitude and latitude, okay? So those are the main that's the main information for what's on your screen. At the bottom of the screen, you have system settings, flight settings, and model select. 
Remember, if you're flying and you click into any of these, you're going to leave the video mode. So you're not going to have any video while you're in these uh, submenus. So you want to hypothet or hypothetically do this when you're on the ground and do all your settings, okay? So uh, you won't need model select. You know, it should be on Typhoon, so you should never have to mess with that. Under flight settings, you've got various different menus, like if you lose your bind from the radio to the aircraft, you can rebind it. You've got camera select, and that's where you want to make sure you're in the pro mode, and you've got mode select. You won't have to mess with that because it's already preset so that your toggles are, are acting correctly. And then under that, you've got hardware monitor. Hardware monitor, you won't have to mess with that. Then you've got other settings. And on other settings, the only thing in there is the units. And you can switch from Imperial, which is the American standard, to metric. And uh, so you can switch back and forth there if you need to. Okay, then across the very bottom, under your video screen, you've got a plus and a minus. That's for the volume. That's all it's for. And you've got the center page tab, and that, um, you know, I'm not sure what in the hell that does. The little page tab in the very center. Somebody leave a comment, let me know. And then you've got the little thing that looks like a house that brings you back to your home screen or back to your video picture. So if you ever get so deep into your settings, you want to get immediately back to your video, just click on that little house. And then it's got a return arrow, which takes you back one page at a time. Okay, so uh, there you go. On the controller itself, you've got your camera tilt. You've got your rabbit and your uh, turtle mode. You've got your switch that takes you from smart to angle to home mode. And remember, you never want to take off in smart mode. If you take off in smart mode, you don't know what the aircraft is going to do because it wants to do a certain standoff. So no matter what you do with the controls, the aircraft is going to act really weird on you. So even if you're a novice, always take off in the angle mode. The angle mode gives you full GPS and you've got GPS satellite lock and all that, but it gives you full control of the aircraft. So take off in angle mode, then if you want to switch over to smart mode and have it follow you, then switch to smart mode after you've positioned the aircraft, pointed the camera at you, used your gimbal to tilt the camera down so that you're in the frame, then switch into smart mode. And then if you want to go even further and switch into the watch me mode, now the difference between follow me and watch me, Follow me mode, the only thing it does is the aircraft follows you. Whatever position the camera is in, it's going to stay in. So if you walk out of frame, it's not going to pitch the camera any further to keep you in the frame. If you want the camera to literally follow you, so the camera pitches to keep you in the frame, then you want to switch into the watch me mode. If you look in the top right hand corner of your screen, there's a little eyeball, it's a little icon in the top right hand corner, I'll show it to you here. That will be red or green. Tap on that, and if it's green, you're in the watch me mode. If you tap it again and turn it off, then you're in the follow me mode. Okay, so that's how to use the watch me and the follow me mode. There you go! I think that just about covers the tools. If I left anything out, leave a comment down below and I'll get back with you right away. You guys have a great evening. Jim Bowers, Demon Seed here on the YouTube network. Don't forget to kiss the wife for me. And as always, make it a wet one. Don't forget, if you need a drone, give Peter a call. That good old boy from New York City. He's at 888-239-2644 over there in New York at acesdeals.biz. See ya!